I guess this is Hayden back from the nest today. I'm here with a story of how I got kicked out of school. It wasn't fantastic. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'm feeling pretty sick today, but I got a new computer in my room, so I'm going to be recording it on this. Uh, let me just mute this for a second. Okay, so, uh, I have a teacher, or had a teacher, and his name was, let's say, Mr. P. That's not his real name, but Mr. P, uh, so he, uh, me and him fight a lot. And it's not the most fantastic thing ever, but he pushes my buttons. And I attack him. And I could do a lot of different things from how I react. And honestly, if you ask me, he's lucky I didn't just start throwing stuff. Because that's how I would have reacted in second grade. I honestly threw a table at my teacher. And kicked the principal in the face. I got suspended for five days. Because I was in second grade, and they were like, we're not going to expel him. Uh, but, yeah, uh, anyway, I was sitting there that day, and I was trying to explain something to him. Because uh, he had been talking about how, like, all the desks were going to have names on them, and the chairs were going to have names on them, too. So I was telling him something about the chairs. Uh, and it wasn't even, like, something important, and I understand, but it's like, I was just trying to explain him, and this is one of my things that honestly makes me want to knock you out with a lamp. I understand if you interrupt me within the first three words, oh, why, hello. Uh, and then interruption because that's like first part of a sentence and during the last part or the middle when I'm in the middle of a sentence or I'm about to finish a sentence and you interrupt me I want to kill you not physically I just want to it's my pet peeve to the maximum it is the one thing that I'm like, if you were going to interrupt me, you should have done it when I started talking. Why would you... I feel like you purposefully waited until I was almost done so that you could then go, why do I hear talking? He didn't say it quiet either. I understand if there's a bunch of kids talking. And you don't want them talking without raising their hands. So you would get, raise your voice. And almost yelling. Go. Why do I hear talking? I can understand that. Because that could get to a point where it's loud. And other teachers would have to come in and tell you that too. But when it's a single person not even talking that loud and you just yell like almost loud enough that the class is over can hear why do i hear talking and to me that's a i was startled by the fact that he yelled that when there's only one person doing that and it got kind of flustered and upset and i yelled out uh because i'll stab you that's why and I should have said, like, because you, cause you have ears. That's why. But, uh, it was the first thing that came to mind. Because he had hit, like, 18 of my points of anger. And those were my one things that really, like, my one thing that really got me angry. And then everything else just 
pissed me off from that point on. And uh, he started out with a, would you like to rephrase that question? Or would you like to rephrase that sentence? And I was like, no, because I know what you're trying to do there. You're trying to get me to say, oh, I'm sorry. I meant, I'm sorry for talking. Let me just go back to working. And that's not anything I would ever in my life say. I don't even say yes mom to my mom. Because it's like, that's like an institutional thing. I'll say like, yeah, okay, whatever. Or, yeah, sure. But I'm never going to go, yes ma'am. That's not a thing I will ever do to someone. It just makes it sound like they're a military instigator and they're trying to get me to freaking be a perfect child. I will agree sometimes, but I will not just go, yes, mom. It's <sighs> not the kind of person I am. But, I mean, I would have rephrased it to, like, because you have ears, that's why. But, I mean, if I had rephrased it to that, probably would have gotten me in less trouble, but I'd still get sent to the, the disciplinary uh, room. Which is where I went, and the cops came in. And I got the cops called on me. So it wasn't the best. It was pretty terrible, I guess. I mean, they gave me the old usual lecture. lecture, And, uh... They searched my bag for items. And they found, like, a half-eaten apple was probably the most dangerous thing in there. It was, like, hardened out from old age. And they were like, yeah, this kid doesn't want to hurt anyone. He was just angry and upset. <laughs> yeah, also, like, I'd be dumb enough to put a weapon in my bag. They made me search my pockets and my ankles, too, though. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy. But, I mean, if I was going to have a weapon, I'd tape it to my back or something. Or put it all the way in my shoe. With a sheath, like, in my shoe, next to my foot. Because I'm not an idiot. But, uh... I didn't do that because I didn't want to hurt anyone. But they uh, made me ride down to the station. And I got told off there, too. And I was like, really? I mean, you don't need to do this as many times. But, uh, whatever. It was a system. And I suppose it works. It doesn't really, though. Cops are corrupt. Cops are corrupt. Kick them out of town. This is not okay. Crime is allowed. <laughs> no. My ears are popping bad for no reason, which I mean, whatever. Uh. So, yeah. It was pretty crazy. It was. Uh, that made me ride down in the station, and I swear, this guy goes, you know, you can't say statements like that, because us police officers take that as if you actually did stab them. And you know what? If I had been in L.A., the teacher probably would have just been like, oh, another death threat, whatever. But I live in Colorado, where it's like... The Columbine shooting has created a shitty, a shitty atmosphere for everyone. And it kind of fucked my life over. I think what they thought was just because of how many things were stabbed in my house. Like, I cut up the walls, the toilet seat, the computer desk. I just cut shit and I don't even mean to. It's when, uh, like, when I'm doing things, I have something that can cut. Not even, like, something that can cut. I had, like, a, a pencil the other day, and I was watching YouTube, and I straight up just, like, dug a hole into my computer desk without even realizing it. The stuff in the bathroom was just because I was amazed with how well my brand new, uh, box cutter worked. And that shit got taken away and that was lame but I mean whatever see you in the skyhawk legs this is Hayden 
signing out.